Hello and welcome to Angular 6 quick starting guide. In this video series we are going to learn Angular 6 from uh, starting to an intermediate level. Uh, before we start let's discuss a little bit about Angular. I have been playing with this framework for quite a while and I found this is an amazing framework to learn for building mobile application, web application and even desktop application. As you know the with using the using the angular you can uh, create native application for desktop for mobile and you can use adobe cortava ionic and native script so this is a very nice framework in this video series we will walk you through the basic to intermediate level so th so that you can start developing your own application so let's start uh, uh, installing the angular and how it is going to work uh, before you uh, use the angular, uh, I assume you have uh, Node.js installed in your computer. If you don't have, just go to Node.js.org and download the LTS version. The LTS is uh, the long term support which has the uh, least bug or it, it does not have any bug. It is recommended for mo most users. The current version is a little bit uh, new because there are some bugs that you might face that's why you should not use the current version use the lts version just install it like any other software once you install this one you can go to the uh, angular.io website and starting from here angular 6 has come and it has a lot of new feature and a lot of performance uh, uh, have been uh, they have worked on the performance and it is uh, super super fast and I don't compare it to any other framework. It is uh, other framework like React and Vue. They are also nice. I will create video for them also. But in this quick result guide, we will discuss only about the Angular. So uh, here is how you are going to install it. They have the Angular CLI. If you come to the features, you you will see that they have the Angular CLI here. The CLI is the command line tool. It is very powerful and the way it works is it will generate uh, most of your code for you uh, not most of your code the code that you need uh, like component they can uh, create uh, services they can create a lot of things for you so we'll discuss all of those things if uh, those things are unfamiliar for you so the the starting is the quick start guide here first you should install the cli or the command line tool here so we are using the npm install g angular cli you copy this command and you will open your uh, mm, terminal or cmd i'm using windows i will open the powershell make sure you are running it as administrator because we are passing the flag of uh, g as global so that we can uh, access the ng command everywhere in our computer so once you run this command you must have access to ng so if i run if i open the cmd or the powershell you can open any of them right ng hyphen v and it should show the version of the ng or angular cli and i'm using this is currently i'm using the uh, version 6 which has uh, which has a lot of uh, cool feature we will discuss them and but at the time of this recording you you can if you install it you will have the same version so once you have this one you can use the ng new and then your app name so the I will go to the desktop and we have a folder here called angular beside this one I will just open the powershell here when I open powershell uh, I just press shift and right click on the de uh, on the folder and it will let me open the powershell windows here so that's why I can come here and use the ng and the new uh, keyword here and then the application new let us say uh, learn in G. you can give this any name i will just write it learn ng for now if i press enter it will start the creating my uh, uh, angular application here as you know the ng or the angular cli is very very powerful and it will create a lot of other things which we will learn in the future so for now uh, let's wait a few seconds so it will install all the necessary file for us until it install the our application let's discuss about the angular cli if you go to the github and to angular cli repository you will see all the things you need to know about angular cli because it is the, um, the tool that create uh, your uh, angular application you can come here you can create using the cli you can create the components you can create directive you can create pipe service class guard and a lot of more things there uh, with the uh, 
angular cli so if you want to learn more about these things you can come here and uh, see everything in details of course we will discuss every single part of this in our future video for now you know that these are the comments that you have and you can run them and you can see how you can uh, use the power of angular cli so let's see where the application is going it will take a while because it will download all the packages uh, from uh, the their website if i come to the directory as you can see here is our application here created here is the package the json we have and we have the angular the json we will discuss about all those files if you know a little bit about node.js we have our package the json so first of all let's open our file in the uh, in our text editor so i'm going to use visual studio code feel free to use any of the uh, uh, text editor you want but visual studio code will give you a lot more functionality for angular the when you develop angular so uh, any angular application so if i open the code here so uh you should install some of the packages we will discuss them in the next or the future video that the necessary extension about uh, angular and it will give you a lot of facilities like code generation and a lot of automating for angular so if i open the package the json for now as you can see we have a lot of dependencies until they install those dependencies that's why it will take a little bit of time as you can see the scripts are written here the basic script is the ng or if you write ng and we have ng serve ng build ng uh, test and all of these commands exist here you can use them to uh, build your application to test them and uh, a lot of more things we will discuss them in the future and serve will run a server for you for now let's wait until it install our application as you can see it is done uh, successfully initialize the gate and this is the last step so let's clean a, a little uh, uh, the command line and now we will use the ng serve command if you run the ng serve it will run a server for you if you pass the flag of open it will open it in the browser so we will run the command okay fine as you can see a uh, okay we are in the angular directory you should go to cd to learn angular because it could not find the uh, uh, angular the json file we should go to inside our directory and then run ng serve and of course you can uh, just try the short form of open which be which is o o means open it will open it in the browser now if you run it it will t take a few seconds to uh, compile all the files you have in your uh, application and it will open it in the browser It is done now we have compiled our file it will take the for the first time a little while and now if i come to the browser and it opened the in local host for 4200 now we have our application up and running if i come to the directory of our application there are some folder called e2e node module and some other files all we are interested is that in this src file here src and then app sometime we just discuss uh, here also the thing we are interested in is the app folder which we have all our components our module and all our services and everything here so in the next video we will discuss our about component and all the features uh, so i hope to see you in the next video thank you for watching